Which features help us identify ash wood? And how can we distinguish ash from a similar wood called sassafras? I'm Frank Owens from the Wood Identification Team at Mississippi State University. In this series of videos, we'll teach you how to identify North American woods the scientific way with a small magnifying glass called a hand lens. In our previous video, we taught you how to identify hickory and pecan by focusing on their banded parenchyma. In this video, we'll explore three more parenchyma patterns as we introduce you to white ash and sassafras. Though anatomically similar, white ash and sassafras differ in uses, properties, and availability. Heavy and hard, white ash is widely available in North America and used for furniture flooring, two handles, baseball bats, and other applications. Lighter and softer, sassafras is more limited in availability and can be used for furniture, fence posts, and small boat construction. As we suggested in previous videos, please remember when you view your wood specimens under a hand lens to orient them with rays running vertically and the growth rings running horizontally. This will make it easier to compare them to the images you see in my slides and your wood anatomy reference book. All references to vertical and horizontal in my videos will assume the same ray and growth ring orientation as in the images. We'll see many features of ash and sassafras today, but let's start by previewing the most important ones, the ones you should commit to memory. We'll start with the features these two would share. Both are ring porous and can exhibit vasocentric, alliform, and confluent parenchyma. As for contrasting features that differentiate white ash from sassafras, there are three important ones, density, heartwood color, and odor. Keep these lists of most important common and contrasting features in mind as we look at these and other features in detail. Now let's take a closer look. We'll start with some contrasting physical characteristics. White ash is heavy and hard, while sassafras is much lighter and softer. The heartwood of ash is light brown or grayish brown, while the heartwood of sassafras is grayish in color, sometimes with an olive hue. And while ash lacks a characteristic odor, sassafras has a spicy odor similar to root beer. Next, let's look at some anatomy. We'll start on the tangential surface. Both ash and sassafras have what we call uneven grain. That means you can clearly see a visual contrast between the early wood and late wood on the tangential surface. Now let's move to the radial face. While you might notice some ray fleck in both images, the flecks are not big and prominent like we saw in the oaks, so there really isn't much to remember on the radial face. Finally, let's look at some transverse features. Both woods are ring porous. And in both woods, the late wood pores are solitary or in multiples of twos and threes. Finally, both woods can exhibit vasocentric, aliform, and confluent parenchyma patterns. As you might remember from the video number nine, these were the ring type, the wing type, and the connected type, respectively. When you look for parenchyma in these images, you might notice that the rays and the confluent connections are thinner in the white ash and thicker in the sassafras. And that's all for today. Congratulations on learning how to identify two new North American hardwoods. Now that we've covered several ring porous woods that exhibited banded, vasocentric, aliform, and confluent parenchyma, we'll show you next time two semi-ring porous woods that feature diffuse any aggregates, that is, short line parenchyma, black walnut and butternut. If you're interested in learning how to identify wood the scientific way, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll be rolling out new videos over the next several weeks. In the meantime, if you have a wood specimen you want scientifically identified or in-person or online training for yourself or your company, please send me an email at frank.owens at msstate.edu. This video has been brought to you by Mississippi State University Extension, taking care of what matters.